What is going on guys? Marcus here with the Reformation Woodshop. There are many people out there who can give you a very educated, very well done tool review. I might not be the best at that. I might not be one of those guys, but I know for a matter of fact, I can give you the cutest tool review you've ever seen. Grayson and I are gonna be showing you guys the Cat's Moses router plane, all the cool things about it, and everything there is to love and enjoy. Unlike a big industrial power tool, there is not a whole lot that comes in the box, but I will show you all the things that make this router plane great. Just like his dad, my son has an eye for tools and he already wants to get his hands on this beautiful plane. I'm doing my best to teach him early that when it comes to tools, you gotta make sure you put them together right. Furniture, on the other hand, just wing it. Okay, so you got an Allen key in the box, another Allen key. This is your blade holder for sharpening. That's your half inch pointed blade. Your cutter comes attached. Look at that beautiful depth dial. That is freaking awesome. There's a knob on the top that lets you adjust your depth and there's a knob on the back that lets you lock that depth in place so that there's no wiggling and no miscutting. Although I don't know what species of wood the handles are, they are super comfortable in my hand and they really match the plane well. I've got this little tray I made with my router. It didn't turn out great, so I didn't end up trying to sell it. I'm gonna take the router plane and see if I can flatten out the inside and get all the router bit marks off of the piece. Dance party first though. When it's down deep enough, we're gonna lock it into place. And now uh, let's get it. I couldn't see past his big head and it's nap time. So let's try this again. If you're not familiar with router planes, a quick synopsis of what they are. They're a specific type of hand plane that's used for specifically smoothing out sunken panels, recesses. They plane the bottoms of recesses to a uniform depth and can work into corners that otherwise can only be reached with a chisel. I used the depth stop on my miter saw to make this half lap joint. Obviously with the miter saw, it's not gonna be clean whatsoever. So this router plane is gonna be able to clean it up and make it look beautiful and pristine. When you're hanging over the edge like this on a joint like this, you wanna make sure that whatever side of your plane is sitting on the surface of the wood is flat and flush at all times or else you won't get a consistent cut. And if you just rock back and forth slowly, you can take that material away really, really easily. Before using my router plane, you can see all the kerf marks from the blade. Now it is a nice, flat, 90 degree, beautiful joint. So same concept here with this board. I took all the material out with my table saw. This is a beat up piece of walnut and I just wanted to see what the router plane could do with it. If you don't have a dado stack on your table saw and you have to go kerf by kerf and take away material like this, the router plane is a really good tool to clean that space up. Just looking at the dado from this angle, you can see as I take pass after pass, the recess becoming more and more square. Obviously you see me struggling a little bit. This is a tool I've wanted for a long time, not a tool I've had for a long time. So as I get better and better and I fine tune the machine, all of my joinery is gonna be that much better. This plane comes with one straight and one 45 degree blade and they are razor sharp out of the box. I'm switching out now to the 45 degree blade so I can get up nice and tight into some corners and see how well it does with that task. This is another catch all that I made using a router and routers are just notoriously inconsistent, especially if your jigs are handmade and you don't have a steady hand. Another really cool thing about this router plane is that you can flip the cutter backwards. That way if you want to pull towards you and make cuts, you can do that. That's really useful if you can't get the right angle on something or you just don't have enough power. This piece of oak, for instance, was giving me a lot of trouble with the chisel because it's just a really tough wood. It's real stringy, real hard, but having the router plane pulling into myself with the 45 degree blade was really, really easy and made for a nice clean recess. Sharpening your blades is really easy. It's just like a chisel. Lay them down 45 degrees. If you have a chisel sharpening guide, you can utilize that in this situation. Get a nice fine edge and get straight back to work. This router plane comes with everything. This is its adjustable and removable fence. Putting it on is really easy. There's a nut on the side that you can attach it to. Tighten it up with your Allen key, slide it straight in, and you are ready to go. Now, what do you need a fence for? Every time I've mentioned making cuts, I told you that I took the material away with another power tool. Say you don't have a table saw or a miter saw, you can make all of those cuts yourself with this router plane. I'm taking this fresh board and I am going to dig a trench through it with the router plane. No miter saws, no table saws, no power tools whatsoever. Now I'm gonna stop talking for just a second and let you hear that sweet sultry sound of cutting. Thank <laughs> you. 
I will admit I don't have the hang of this bad boy yet, but I will get there. I promise you that. I am really happy to have this tool in my arsenal. I am not really a hand tool woodworker, but I do love having the best tool for the job whenever I need it. This router plane cost me $190 and I just checked the website and they are sold out. I will put that link in the description. That way, whenever they aren't sold out, maybe you can grab yourself one too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.